Hey FTM Transtastic viewers, it's Saturday and I am avoiding doing real work. I know Saturday is my day to make videos and that, you know, I have to do it anyways, but I'm doing it now as a guise of um, real productivity um, because there's like essays I have to write and things like that that have been due for a while now um, that I still haven't done. So I'm making this video instead so I can cross something off my to-do list. Um, and then I'm gonna go eat hot dogs or something at a town fair. Not, not carnival food. Uh, this week we're talking about religion. I guess I should start off by saying that I was not raised in any particular religion. Um, my mother is an atheist. My dad is Catholic when it's convenient for him. Um, if anything, just based on the community I grew up in, um, I'm more culturally Catholic. It's probably the the denomination that I'm most familiar with in passing. Um, my family celebrates Christmas and Easter and things like that. Um, not on not for any religious purpose, but mostly because it's a tradition thing, a culture thing. It's interesting because I know. A lot of people in the LGBT community um, don't subscribe to any particular religious faith, um, but I find it's very uh, rare that people grow up without a religion at all. Um, like I decided I was an atheist um, when I was in sixth grade, I think, um, so yeah, like 10, 11, something like that. Um, and it was perfectly encouraged by my mother, and my dad wasn't so happy about it, but whatever. Um, that's not his decision to make. I was never taught that there was any sort of higher being. I mean, when I was little, if I thought that, it wasn't discouraged in me. But, you know, my, my mom let me come to my own conclusions about religion, about faith, and things like that. And I, and I think it was a really, um, it was a precursor to all the shit I'd put her through later. <laughs> Coming out as gay and trans and all sorts of fun things like that. Um, but I also think growing up in an environment like that where I was kind of just left to my own devices regarding faith and regarding religion, um, that it also gave me a sense of, I also knew that I had to do more work in finding out who I was and that um, it wasn't necessarily going to be told to me what that was, which I find really, really refreshing. And I think I'm, I'm really grateful that I had that childhood and that um, experience growing up. That being said, I'm extremely fascinated by religion. Um, perhaps it's because I didn't grow up in any particular faith, but um, like there was a time when I was in school that I, you know, contemplated getting a religious studies minor. Um, I'm just, I'm really, really fascinated by religion. Um, not in a, not in a, like, condescending way. Like, I don't, I don't look down on people, um, that believe in God or believe in multiple gods or practice whatever faith they practice. I really don't. Um, I think that's great for people or if people need that in their lives or whatever, like, that's totally cool. Um, the only caveat I have is that I will respect your faith if you respect um, what I believe in. You don't have to agree with it, um, just as long as you respect me the same way that I respect you. And don't try to convert me, it's not going to work. Um, although no one's really tried to convert me, so I guess I'm lucky in that too. I mean, just because of, I think, where I grew up culturally, I'm really interested in Christianity. Um, the whole like mythology and mythology doesn't mean that it's necessarily a lie it just means that it's a story you know stories the stories that are told to explain certain things the stories that are told as the foundation of faith um i'm just uh i'm just interested by the whole canon of christianity i find it really fascinating um i'm also really interested in um like Mediterranean, ancient Mediterranean area religions, um, especially those of ancient Greece and Rome, um, but also earlier cultures like the Cycladic cultures and Minoan cultures, um, because there's evidence to suggest that these were um, matriarchal 
religions and matriarchal societies, wherein um, the primary uh, deity was a goddess figure. Um, and then it's really e funny, or not funny, it's really interesting um, to see how it, both in the mythology itself and in the history, they kind of coincide, wherein after uh, mainland Greece took over a lot of these island cultures, um, their religious traditions shifted from um, a goddess-based or some sort of system where goddesses figured in prominently to a primarily um, patriarchal uh, religious structure, um, which also coincides with some um, religious mythology, especially if you look at um, like the mythology of Zeus and how um, the whole and how um, like in the beginning of that whole shebang, um, it primarily comes out of chaos, and then there's Gaia, a self uh, rep replicating goddess. Um, but then all of these older gods and goddesses were overthrown, um, by their children, uh, particularly, like, Uranus, and then Uranus was castrated by Cronus, and then Cronus was castrated by Zeus, and everyone died, and there was blood everywhere, and bleh, but you get what I'm saying. Um, pretty much like the self-replicating, replicating goddess, where goddesses and women figures had a strong prominent role were overtaken um, by patriarchal figures such as Zeus. And one of Zeus's like first things he does is that um, he births, Athena, births Athena. He takes over the role of reproduction from the woman as a male figure. I don't know. I took a, I took a class on gender and sexuality in ancient Greek literature. So I find all this stuff really, really fascinating. Um, it may also be all total bullshit. But whatever, it's still really interesting to think about. Uh, aside from all that, I'm just, I'm really interested in religion. I'm, I like reading about it. I like reading about saints and, you know, all of the traditions and where they come from. And I like watching History Channel specials on the Shroud of Turin, even though it's totally cheesy and, like totally false and whatever, but still, you know, it's just, it's interesting stuff to think about, um, regardless of whether or not you believe that there's a god or whether there's some sort of higher power. I just think it's really interesting because, I mean, most people in the world subscribe to some sort of faith or some sort of religion that generally subscribes to um, beliefs that go beyond the mortal realm, I guess. Is what I'm trying to say. So, I don't know. I think it's just really interesting. I think that's enough. You don't need to hear me ramble anymore about the patriarchy or whatever. Um, next week is trans superiority, I think. I'll have to make that video early. I'm gonna be in Cleveland next weekend. I'm gonna go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with my mom. Um, that's my graduation present from college. I'm pretty pumped about it because there's an exhibit on women in rock and oh my god I'll get to worship at like Joan Jett's feet or some shit. Um, if that if there is a religion I have that's it. It's the fucking church of Joan Jett and Blondie. Um, but yeah so until next week